Uh, can we right now do something with 3D printer that will um, be done outside of institutions, outside of the companies? Uh, what is actually available in a day-to-day -day life of the normal people? Uh, well, the, the first question becomes one of cost, of course. The cheapest 3D printers that you can get now are probably about 200 to $300, which obviously in some parts of the world is still quite expensive. In other parts of the world, it's, you know, the cost of two weeks groceries. The most basic machines can print plastic objects and they can print very complicated plastic objects. And in particular, you can print quite a complicated machine if you're prepared to break the machine down into parts and then print those parts and put them together. You print the, print the plastic object, use that to then make a ceramic object and the ceramic object becomes a mold in which you can pour molten metal. Uh, you can then make a metal version of whatever it is that you want. So it's possible to go from the fact that the machines at their base can only print plastic through to quite a wide range of materials simply by taking the trouble to go through a several stage process.